you've heard of the four elements, fire, earth, air, and water. Well, all of your models in Flying Logic are also made from four basic elements, entities, edges, junctors, and groups. In this video, I'm going to quickly describe these elements and how they relate. Entities represent various concepts. These concepts can be as diverse as a goal you're striving for, an action you might take, a symptom of something wrong in a situation, or a machine part. Entities have a title, which briefly describes the concept, and a class, shown in the colored bar at the top of the entity. The class represents the type of thing you're looking at. Entities can exist all by themselves, unconnected to anything else, but what makes them interesting are their connections. Edges are the arrows that connect entities to each other. Edges represent the relationship between entities. Depending on your model, edges could connect causes to their effects, or they could connect people to each other in a social or family network. Or they could denote the order in which operations can happen. Edges always connect two other objects, the tail and the head. These objects can be entities or junctors, which we'll talk about next. Edges can't exist without both a tail and a head. If you delete either the tail or the head of an edge, the edge is cleaned up automatically. Entities have one or more incoming edges and outgoing edges. All the entities you can reach from an entity's incoming edges are its predecessors. All the entities you can reach from its outgoing edges are its successors. When two or more edges enter an entity, their meaning is combined according to the entity operator set for the document. In a new document, the entity operator is set to fuzzy or. In a model where your modeling causes and effects, fuzzy or typically means that any of the causes are sufficient to produce the effect. But sometimes we want to combine the meaning of edges in other ways, and that's where junctors come in. The word junctor comes from running two words together, junction and operator. Junctors are small circles that contain the name of their operator. When you set the document's default junctor operator, any new junctors created by your actions will have that operator. but you can change a junctor's operator at any time. Junctors can't exist without at least one incoming edge and one outgoing edge. Removing the last of either of those automatically cleans up the junctor. If you've got a junctor sitting by itself between two edges, you can easily clean it up by moving one of those edges directly to an entity. Finally, Groups are a terrific way to both organize your model and help you focus on what matters in your model right now by hiding what doesn't. Groups can contain entities, junctors, and even other groups. You can easily move things into, out of, and between groups by dragging. If you want to move several objects at once, select them all, then drag. Groups can have a title that is useful to categorize its contents. Groups can be collapsed to temporarily hide their contents. Groups form a hierarchy that can be collapsed or expanded one level at a time, or deep collapsed or deep expanded by holding down the Alt key or Option key on a Mac and then clicking the expansion control in the corner. When you delete a group, its contents aren't deleted, but rather simply unboxed. They then join the contents of the next group up. Flying Logic's four simple elements can be combined in powerful ways to create models that are precise, detailed, and effective.